Scrambled Physics. Last night, aliens were spotted scrambling up the laws of physics, Sir Isaac Newton's laws of motion in particular. The aliens escaped, but the messy aftermath of all these scrambled laws has become a problem too big for the government to handle. Due to your widely known reputation of being a physics expert, a super-secret government spy agency is asking for your help in remedying the situation. Your mission is to unscramble all of Newton's laws of motion by decoding the clues, solving the puzzles, and breaking into the box. You have 45 minutes to complete your mission. Good luck. To set up the locks, the three-digit lock code is 576. The four-digit lock code is 7724. The directional multi-lock is left, right, down, down, up. And the ABC multi-lock is the word force. To set up the game, you will need to first place the physics word cloud, shown here, in the big box with some candy or some other kind of prize. Set the four multi-locks as me previously mentioned and put them on the hasp on the big box. Place the numbers sheet from the layover clue, which looks like this, in the small box with the key lock on it. Hang the spy stealth symbol pictures around the room with the key hidden behind the correct one. So there are spy stealth challenge pages which give the symbol. If you're using more than one group with more than one box going at the same time, there are multiple challenge pages and multiple symbols to hang around the room. Next, place the hint cards, the crossword puzzle, the Newton's Laws scenarios, the QR code for the Snakes and Ladders game, the whiteboard, Expo marker, eraser, and iPad on the table with the big and small boxes. The whiteboard, Expo marker, eraser, and iPad are all optional, but helpful. Next, place the scrambled wheel clue, the spy stealth challenge clue, and the directional clue inside a manila envelope and hide it near the table. Keep the cutout part of the layover clue, which looks like this, with you. When groups finish the Snakes and Ladders game from the QR code using the iPad, they will then come to you for this, for this clue. Set the iPad to the video on YouTube for the story. Or, if you would prefer not to do that, you could always just print that slide of the PowerPoint. Lastly, put the timer to 45 minutes and you're good to go. I'd like to next go over how to make the cutout for the layover clue and the wheel clue. So for the wheel clue, it looks like this but without the circles. So you can add the circles and print this four times. Cut each one out on a different circle, then layer them and put a brad through the middle right here. Then have make sure it's all turned so it's not easy to read unless it's all aligned. And then the clue for them to use the Newton's Law scenario page is visible and they'll know what to do to get that code. In order to make the lay uh, the layover cutout clue, you need to print this page and then use a single hole punch to punch out these um, circles. How the game should flow. Students will read the spy stealth challenge sheet and then sneak around the room to find the matching spy stealth symbol, which is where their key will be hidden to the small box with the key lock. When they unlock the small box with the key lock, they should be able to retrieve the numbers clue for the layover. When students use the iPad to scan the QR code, they will then complete the Snakes and Ladders game. When they are done, they are to retrieve the cutout layover clue from you. 
This clue lays over the numbers part right here and should reveal the numbers 7724, which is the code for the four digit lock. When the wheel clue is aligned, the directions for using the Newton's Laws scenario sheet is revealed. When they have completed it, this will lead them to the code 576 for the three digit lock. When students solve the directional clue, which is full of net force problems, they will have the directions for the directional code. The code is left, right, down, down, up. This is the code for the directional multi-lock. Solving the crossword puzzle and unscrambling the bolded boxes will reveal the word force, which is the code for the ABC multi-lock. Resources that are helpful. An iPad for the Snakes and Ladders game is um, needed. Uh, it's also helpful for the story, for the introduction, although you could just print the um, PowerPoint slide for the story, which is in the shared folder uh, on Google. You, have, uh, you need a timer, the hint cards, the manila envelope, and then the whiteboard with the Expo marker and the eraser are also helpful for students working through problems as they go through the game. They are optional though. What you need to print out. You need to print out the uh, word cloud, which goes inside the big box, the numbers layover clue, the cutout layover clue, and then use a hole punch to punch out those circles, the crossword puzzle, the directional clue, which is full of net force problems, the spy stealth symbols, the spy stealth challenge sheets, and the QR code which leads them to the Snakes and Ladders game on the iPad. You also need the Newton's Laws Scenarios page and you need to print four of the wheel clue in order to make the actual clue. Lastly, if you decide not to use the iPad for the story video for the introduction, you can always print that slide uh, in the Google Docs, the, I'm sorry, the Google Drive for um, for the PowerPoint.